What up, gamers? It's your boy King Thrash back at it once again with another video. Remember, like, subscribe, don't like to subscribe. Look, 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 look. As you all know, Hi Fi Rush has been stealth dropped. As you know, uh, the Xbox's show was trash without, well, except for this game, right? This game is it's a good looking game. I, I haven't played it yet. I don't have the urge to play it, but I, I will play it. I will buy it full price. And play and enjoy this cartoon game. Because I like games. I play all type of shit. Right? And this is, this is finally a reason to boot up my Xbox Series X. Even though I, I, I don't need a Series X. This, this, listen, listen, bro. Hi-Fi Rush exposes the many problems with Xbox. Look, look. It's a game. It's a great game. Play it. Buy it. I'm not knocking the game. It is the people behind Xbox that fucking kills me when it comes to this fucking console, bro. I'm just saying it how it is. That's it. That's all. All right. Now this is a fun game. If you're an Xbox player, get that shit. If you're not an Xbox player and you got it, you don't have an Xbox to 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 you need to buy an Xbox. To buy, don't. Okay. It's it's a thirty dollar game. It's not a system seller. Now nah, <laughs> look. If you want to play the game, play the game by any means necessary. All right. Play it, game pass it, whatever the fuck. But it's just a catastrophe in so many different levels, ways, and monikers. You see, this is the second game out by Microsoft. Uh, this generation that is something that was being made by a company that they bought within the last five years, right? I believe, I believe. Now, this game was being made back in 20, it started in 2017, so much, 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 much before Microsoft thought about buying Activision, okay? Way before. But, they stealth drop it. And I think that's the dumbest thing that they have done for the entirety of Phil Spencer's tenure. Like, stealth drop Pentiment. But don't stealth drop a game better than Pentiment. It doesn't make any sense. This game would have had a trailer and people would have been hyped about it. And you would have had more hype behind your console or trash ass service than you would with a fucking Pentiment. You had people pretending that they were okay with this book game. Now this game right here, Hi-Fi, has been out for about three days. And it only it's only eight hours I think six hours, actually, people were saying in reviews that it's actually six hours. And it only has it all, all on easy, hard and normal. All are under one percent completion rate at the moment. Under one percent completion rate. And you can't even blame the game. You got to blame Microsoft for not putting the effort behind it. I would rather you switch. It's the same thing with Scalebound, bro. Cancel Crackdown and bring out Scalebound. With this, put marketing behind this and stealth drop Pentiment. It's so backwards on what you're trying to do. Look, I can't knock it like that. I just think it is dumb. But it's also something that you niggas need to start expecting from Microsoft. Because... This is the majority of the type of games that Microsoft is going to deliver. They have a casual console. They have a console that they are trying to aim at kids with. Kids with cell phones, kids with tablets, and they're using the Xbox as a console to draw in those kids. And that's why the Xbox Series S was even created. That's why the Xbox Series S is the main console that Microsoft markets. Period. And you're going to get more and more and more and more of these cartoon-like games. And look, there ain't a problem. I keep telling people, everybody be like, oh, everything don't got to be AAA. And you're right. Everything don't have to be a, a, a high-level graphically. And you're right. You're right. But every game doesn't have to be a fucking art style choice either. You know what I'm saying? You have 12 teraflops of power, the most teraflops for any console, and have yet to, to even try to attempt to push that shit at all, at all, right? And, and and please don't come at me with Forza because there are already comparisons out there that show that the older Forzas are more prettier than this newer Forza. It is what it is. The, the sacrifices they made in order to get um, 
um, um, um, um, ray tracing into a racing game, even though ray tracing is not going to be the thing that you see while you're in the back of a fucking car. You're not going to be looking at fucking flexions, but still. We're going to see how that turns out because they show you the PC version, but don't show you the Xbox versions. I would love to see how this is going to turn out with the Xbox Series S and X. Hopefully, hopefully, hear me close. Hopefully they get it done. I would love to see it done. That way they put Sony to try to get it done as well. Better. You know what I'm saying? But if it doesn't happen, it's just going to, it's going to solidify uh, what everyone else is doing in the first place. Period. But don't tell me that's pushing 12 teraflops of power because it's fucking not. Don't even look better than game. I mean, game systems that had one teraflop in it, motherfucker. Why would it? Why would twelve teraflops be, be being pushed by a racing game? No, 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 no. We need that game. We need that game drastically for the Xbox. But because of this, because of the Xbox Series S, because of horrible management, you have games that won't be appreciated that do, that should get appreciation, and games that shouldn't get appreciation getting all the marketing. But the dumbness don't end there. There is for some reason, for some reason, some reason that I just, I, I can't put my, I, 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 I can't put my thumb on. I mean, all the garlic pills in the world cannot help with the dumb stink that I've been hearing from the breath of these dumb ass niggas. For some reason, Xbox fans keep saying, and I keep seeing this, that PlayStation players are crying about hi-fi i'm like nigga when crying for what nigga (laughs) our cartoon games look like ratchet and clank and kena crying for hi for a a a a a, a, a indie level game a a thirty dollar six hour game i'm crying for that how Anyone who like let me ask you a question: Did you cry when God of War came out? Is that is that the ritual? Like you you, you think you move like PlayStation moving Xbox players move like PlayStation players move or something? Do y'all cry? Y'all must cry because for twenty twenty two you didn't have shit. For twenty twenty you didn't have shit. Nothing. You had at the end of twenty twenty one. You went throughout the entire year of twenty twenty one with no games. And then you went a whole nother year of 2022 with no games. You know what I'm saying? You had Halo come out at the end of 2021. Console launched at the end of 2020. You went 365 days with no fucking games. And then Halo came out, turned out trash. And Forza Horizon 5 came out, which is an okay game, but was instantly shelved because Halo came out. And anybody who wanted to play that moved on to Halo, then moved on to Elden Ring and moved on to whatever the fuck, right? But two games, three years, you get this, and you're saying that PlayStation players are crying about, nigga, this. This bitch don't even got titties. Crying for, nigga, look, 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 you guys gotta understand something, bro. No matter how many games Microsoft drops, Sony players aren't gonna care, my nigga. Because that's like breathing. It's like, you wanna be, wanna be alive? Well, then you got to breathe. Microsoft, if you want to have a console, a gaming console, Microsoft, then you got to have games. And bringing out games doesn't give you a fucking pat on the back. You're just doing exactly what the fuck you are supposed to do. Play Xbox players. PlayStation players do not feel like you because we have games to play. Forspoken came out days before hi-fi and just because y'all want to pretend that forespoken is a bad game in order to big up or make yourselves feel better and this and trust me i know i don't want to say oh but the reviewers yeah the reviewers are been on bullshit they've been on for numerous reasons they have been on bullshit been period been on like a pentiment fucking Getting higher scores in Horizon. Fucking shit the fuck up. It, it, that's just why I say never listen to Mike Minic Metacritic. And, because I, I'm not even going to say it's paid out. I'm not even going to say it's bought out. I'm not even going to say that no more. Because I don't need to. It's been showing. All I'm going to say is. Is that. It's clearly a problem. And Microsoft is still delivering you. Indie games. They are delivering you games. 
that are either incomplete or small or a racing game. And that's all I get. And that's the future as well. Starfield is going to come out incomplete. Redfall is going to come out incomplete and a service game and be smaller than what the fuck you think it's going to be. Well, hopefully not, but more than likely. Halo was already unfinished. Um, Forza Horizon was a racing game. And everything else was fucking kid games or, or, or indies. Fucking Sea of Thieves came out. Not finished. A kid game at the same time. It just goes on and on. The list goes on and on. The recours and the, how many years are we going to go through this? That rare game coming out looking like a cartoon game. And they don't even know how to fucking use that shit. They don't even know how to, what to call it or, or what to say about that game. I mean, just on and on and on and on. The same bullshit. The same bullshit. So I'm gonna leave y'all with this, man. Look, first of all, so like, like, like I said, this is, looks like a fun game. I would play this game definitely. I definitely would play this game. So go out, buy it, rent it, whatever the fuck you're gonna do. I'm gonna buy it. Thirty dollars ain't shit. Six hours, cool, whatever. But beat your games, please. Play this game. Beat your game. But don't champion this game if. You don't want Microsoft to continue to give you children games because this is this is fucking playground shit. This is motherfucking recess, nigga. They might they could have they could have named this game. You tell me if I'm wrong, nigga. They could have named this game Recess and it would have fit. <laughs> that's how kid this game is. And look, I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying Nintendo will always do it better and. Your name is Xbox, nigga, not Pillow Box. You know what I'm saying? You have one of the most uh, um, electric names, Xbox. You motherfuckers holding up X's like they Black Panthers and shit. Fuck out of here. Nigga, and you keep on championing these small ass games and they're going to continue. Think about what you're doing, nigga. You guys are fucking going hard on fucking Halo. You're loving these racing games. You're loving these indie games. They gave Pentium in a 92. Y'all motherfuckers talk, oh, yeah, this is a great game. Oh, shit. Look at Forspoken. Oh, my God. It looks trash. Look at God of War. Oh, my God. Fucking walking simulator. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? All, you, all the narratives that y'all created in order to cope. Because that's what it is. It's, it's, it's creations of cope. All the things that you have created to cope are the exact opposite of what you're doing right now. This is a single player, small, one and done game. Championing it. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like oh, it, it, you know, it just, ah, it's a, oh, it's a third person over the shoulder. Look, motherfucker, <laughs> I'm just saying. I am just saying, bro. I am just saying. Everything that you say you don't like, Microsoft is delivering, and yet and still you still champion it. Everything that y'all say is fake. So why would anybody care about anything that you say? You want to pretend? You want to pretend that? That that uh, this game is doing big things, fine. That's your library. But when y'all pretend that y'all playing it and not even beating this game, is when the fucking shit gets fuck shittyery. It is what it is. It is what it is. Congratulations, to Microsoft. You gave a good indie game, or not not really indie because they're not independent. So we gave a good A game, uh, a, a game that they didn't even fucking market. They, Post up called this shit a triple A game. Look, a triple A game actually has marketing behind it. A triple A game is not going to cost you thirty dollars. You can only imagine how much this game costs to make if it's only thirty fucking dollars. All right, <laughs> the last you know the last thirty dollar game I motherfucking played was fucking fucking Kenna. In fact, I think Kenna was no that wasn't the last thirty dollars. Let me just talk about thirty dollar PlayStation exclusive. Or something like that. And Kenna was fan motherfucking tastic. Open world sexiness. But, but, but again, again, not taking nothing away from this game. Good game. Just Xbox fans, relax. Calm down. It, this does nothing towards the argument between what console is better. Stop championing lesser games for your console if you want to have better. You, 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 you can't talk shit about PlayStation's more elaborate more demanding games and then champion shit like this and and fucking pentiment and shit if you do that then that's what they're gonna fucking deliver to you here's what it is my nigga dog ass stink ass lipped ass niggas skin through skin man like subscribe don't like to subscribe you know what it is nigga. you know what it is you know what time it is i'm out 
hey, y'all remember this Xbox influencer? The one I exposed for not gaming. Hi, I'm Diana. You might know me for all my Xbox content on Twitter and on Instagram. It's impact on me as a young girl. Many of the games I played featured characters like Lara Croft and Sonya Blade, who were strong, badass women. They portrayed the notion that being female posed no barrier to engaging in activities that were typically reserved for their male counterparts. Series S and X. Upgrades. Upgrades. Yep, so it, it already looks so good. Mm -hmm. It's just going to look so much better when it comes out. Yep. I think it's June 29th yep. where it gets the upgrade. Yep. Since I exposed Miss Deos attack, Xbox influencer extraordinaire, she has ended her channel. She has created a new channel. She only got about 500 more gamer score points since May. And now she's left Xbox and trying to be a PlayStation influencer. At their CES presentation yesterday, Sony announced Project Leonardo, a PlayStation 5 accessibility controller kit. The controller kit is said to be highly customizable and designed to help players with disabilities play easily, more comfortably, and for longer periods. God of War Ragnarok. Play as Kratos and his son Atreus as they journey to each of the nine realms in search of answers as Asgardian forces prepare for a prophesized battle that will end the world. Bom. Mulailah pengoboman. Bom seluruh kota. Dan seluruh orang yang ada di dalam. Maaf, Pak. Apa ada yang bisa antar saya pulang? Saya ingin bersama dengan keluarga, dengan suami dan anak-anak saya. 